A uh, five-minute call on behalf of the National Party, Shane Rizzi. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, the 2017 budget is good for Whangarei, good for Northland and has been very well received in my electorate. The budget continues to advance the economic gains that Northland is seeing as real GDP growth, as reflected by last week's ASB scorecard that has Northland up seven places, up to four-star ranking in the second highest growth region. Many in Northland will make the greatest gains from this budget. We always said, work with us through the tough times, and together, with fiscal responsibility and a stable government, we will share in the benefits. Well, Northland families will now share these benefits as part of the two billion family incomes package. These benefits will flow as increases to the tax thresholds, increases to working for families, and increases to the accommodation supplement. We know with this budget, 1.3 million families will benefit by an average of $26 a week. Northlanders will share that benefit. We know that 20,000 households will lift above the threshold for severe housing stress. Northlanders will share that benefit. We know the number of children living in families receiving less than half the median income will improve. Northlanders will share that benefit. Mr Speaker, health matters to Northlanders, and in this budget there has been big program announcements with direct relevance to Northland. The health budget goes up an extra $879 million. Northland DHB, in fact, receives an extra $21 million top-up. The National Bowel Screening Programme is further supported with $385 million. Now, in 2010 to 2012, Northland had the fourth highest, fourth highest colorectal mortality rate, with 20.5 deaths per 100,000 people. So this is really important to Northland. I'd also like to reach out at this point of my very brief talk to my young Northland cousin who has metastatic bowel cancer and wish her well with chemotherapy and the best possible outcome. Mental health is important to Northlanders, and this budget adds an extra $224 million over four years. Now, a few weeks ago, I was at the opening of Wairua Tipua, a million-dollar Northland DHB program for mothers with children under three who have drug and alcohol addiction. They'll be further supported through this budget. Disability support services receive an extra $205 million over four years. A few months ago in Whangarei, I was able to participate in the opening of a disabled people in work program called Employability. The senior official from Silver Firm Farms out towards Dargaville gave a wonderful example of the benefit of employing disabled people, including the fact that they actually have less sick days. Double crewing for road ambulance calls out receives 59.2 million. Now, Northland DHB has some of the greatest rurality and single call outs have high risk. So the people of Northland will benefit from this announcement by having two sets of skills. Now, this lets you do several things. It lets you do something called scoop and carry. What that means is you can have someone actually drive the ambulance and someone else resuscitating in the back. That's very important when you're looking for short transit times to get people to hospital quickly, particularly in incidences like stroke, where you've got a window to have an intervention that makes a difference. So double ambulancing is going to be uh, very important for the people of Northland. Uh, rheumatic fever was commented on by an earlier member. And I wanted to just comment that they focused on one risk factor that serves one agenda, that is the housing agenda, and completely ignores all the other factors that are relevant to rheumatic fever, including a higher incidence of pharyngitis with group A streptococcus and access to health care. Now, that's really important because access to health care is one of the single biggest interventions that this government has done. So while we may have changed some of the targets, we've been able to do that because we've made health care for those under 13 more accessible. Yeah? And that's been able to reduce the risk and been able to improve the rheumatic fever rates, particularly in places like Whangarao Harbour, that at one point in the early 2000s had the worst incidence of rheumatic fever outside of Soweto. So we're really making huge impact on that. I do want to say that I do accept overcrowding, so I'm not diminishing what the member was saying. I do accept overcrowding is a risk factor, but I'm just saying, let's tell the whole story. Pharmac improves, uh, Mr Speaker. Medicines matter to Northland, and an extra $60 million over four years will enable access to new medicines that our specialists tell us are important. There are so many areas to comment on, Mr Speaker. I've tended to focus a bit on health as an area that I have interest in. But, Mr Speaker, this benefit is good for Northlanders. They're telling me that. They're seeing it. They're touching it. This is a good budget. Thank you. Rhea Bond. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm pleased to rise on